see that picture on the screen there? Oh, yes. I've seen many of those. You've seen a bunch of those? I see Coxie. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no. Where is she? <laughs> on Jeremy's shoulders. Yeah, right there. There I am. Where's Jeremy? <laughs> He's the good looking one. <laughs> well, they're no. all pretty good looking. <laughs> There's so many of them. Where's Waldo? <laughs> That's so cool. Well, we had a couple of basketball players who are who were, until Saturday, they were football players. Yep. And that so they were, fast. they were pointing out where they were on that picture, too. Oh, so. fun. Cool. They yeah. were men of little words this morning. So who had the bigger crowd up there, you think? Um, I mean, Artesia was well represented. Artesia was amazing. I was so proud of us. Uh, but Farmington. Okay. I mean, they had a lot more seats. Okay. Because you were saying, too, it would have been their first ever, right? Yeah, right? It would have been Farmington's first state championship. I oh. mean, Piedra Vista's. Piedra Vista. I think I heard that. Okay. So I think the whole town came out, but That's we good. showed up. We did great, good. especially considering weather and holidays uh, and yeah. all the things. So yeah. good well, job, that's, Bulldogs. That's Yay. good. Well, we were, we were, Jeffrey and I were here. Oh, okay. And uh, Joby and Robbie were there. Yes. That's who, remember, Robbie is the one who took that picture. Yeah. Both sides were packed. But the home side had about twice as many seats available. Okay. I mean, well, good, yeah. good. And there are a lot of people. I think we had record numbers on. Uh, I say viewership. We, oh, yeah. we didn't. We didn't have the video, but we had the audio on the Facebook page and on the YouTube channel, and uh, even on the radio app, uh, which we can track how many people are listening right now mm -hmm. on the. I have a computer over there set with that screen. Yeah. And so we had we had record numbers for Good. the radio app and for the Facebook Live. I think we had like four thousand on Facebook Live. Awesome. Wow. And that uh, is a big deal. That, yeah. yeah. So a lot Especially of people. Especially since it's just audio, you know. The hardest awesome. thing for me, I was enjoying some of the comments that people were saying about some other things, but the hardest thing is I had to delete about a hundred of them. Is these spam bots that come on there and hmm. say, "Watch the game in HD," and it just takes you to some. Wow deal and so i'm just sitting there delete 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 and then they started popping up in replies to comments oh no. so they were hiding themselves so i'd have to hit the replies to see what the reply oh ban ban delete delete Golly. i spent probably an hour just going through to clean all that out of there and get all that stuff out of there so could you have a blocker on your side to automatically do that for you i don't know that's a good question that would be nice I did. that's a good question next year yeah, we'll work on that for next year. Yes, but sir. people were enjoying it, and uh, um, it was it was good to to get the win. And yeah, someone told me after the game ended here, everybody was shooting off fireworks. Maybe Sounded like World War I, did, I didn't hear them here, but I, I yeah, could see that. That's what they were yeah, saying. That's I could cool. see that. Uh, of course, I felt the earthquake on Thanksgiving Day. Did you guys? I see missed it? that one. You missed that one. Another one. Yes. Yeah. At like one o'clock. Yeah. yeah. Yep. 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 What one fifteen? Wow. I mean, and I was in Roswell, but. Yeah. The, the, well, there there were yep. three different instances, one of which I felt here. I was sitting in the other room, and I didn't have the doors closed, closed, but they were kind of closed. And I'm just sitting there, and all of a sudden, I feel this wavy motion, and I hear the doors rattle. Did you feel the first one? I did not. I was in the truck. Because I wonder how they compared. Yeah. Because I felt we felt the first one, mm -hmm. and it was pretty yeah. wow. intense. All I, I know is... If if God's just taking it into his own hands to, like, annex us Could be. this part of the state. Uh -huh. That'd be fine. That'd be great. We, right? have, we have New Mexico <laughs> bumper stickers yeah. if you want some. Yeah. Uh, all I know is, after all that, we have a leak in the roof now. Oh, no. Ooh. So the building... Wow. Shifted just enough. Just enough to Dang. open up something up, up top. So I've got a... I know who I'm going to call. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Not Good. the Ghostbusters. Not the Ghostbusters. Okay. But yeah, we have a we have a leak right here in the oh, hallway. Oh man. Yeah. And then of course it rained snowed after that, right? Slush. Do things Slush. come in threes though? I mean maybe you should wait a few weeks to get that <laughs> fixed. <laughs> Just a thought. I don't know. It looks like it's getting worse every time we have a little moisture, so oh, I probably man. need to get it fixed. Yeah. Because I'm praying for a white Christmas, so probably yeah. get it fixed before then. I don't know. It's the holidays, supply chain issues. People are busy, you know. I, I, I ordered a replacement bulb and an electrician for the light in the back, and that was two weeks ago. Bummer. So, and I'm like, everybody's dealing with that. I yeah. Mean, I'm not the only one, so it's it's kind of crazy. So, well, anyway. What such is life. Such is life. I did get this yesterday. Good. 
invited. You're cordially invited, Gene. Ooh, yes. fancy. And we put it on the community calendar and everything. Thank so you. Cool. Let, let people know. So what is the legislative reception? Legislative reception. We finally get to bring it back after COVID. Um, we're going to have, uh, Haley's been inviting all the legis local legislative elected officials, um, but uh, we're hoping to have some city councilors, some county, um, not county clerks. <laughs> what is John Henry? <laughs> county commissioner. He's a mayor. Thank you. <laughs> and the mayor. Um, <laughs> He's a commissioner. <clears throat> so we're hoping to have county and um, local. Um, we're hoping to have some state level legislators there as well. So. Um, well, I'm going to, I'm going to come in. All, is with awesome. my New Mexit bumper stickers, and I'm going to see which legislators are going to be carrying our New Mexit bill to the legislature. Okay. Ooh, that's a good idea. You should come ask them. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, we're excited. It'll be fine. It'll just be <laughs> simple hors d'oeuvres and, um, and drinks and 530. So come after work. We'll have it at First American Bank. Okay. Do you need um, an RSVP? Yeah, we'd love it if you can. Okay. That way we know how much food to plan for. Um, okay. I know that's sometimes a hard ask, but <laughs> around here it is. Yeah, <laughs> mm -hmm. but just come. It's okay if you haven't RSVP, still come. Okay. So, yeah, that'll be that'll be good. That's for chamber members to, to yeah. come out and come out and enjoy an that. evening with your led Did local we say the date? elected officials. Tuesday, December sixth. Oh, have yes. You, have thank you. you not seen that at five thirty? I just haven't memorized it yet. Okay. Jean. I think. Yeah, it's up on the front door. You're the man. Wow. Alana did that. Thank you. Oh, she's the woman. Started printing those out. And cool. Yeah, we're excited. That'll be next Tuesday already. One week from today. Okay. Wow. Excellent. <clears throat> Excellent. This week's kind of busy. Very busy. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> this week is so busy. <laughs> so busy. Uh, so today's my mom's birthday. Happy birthday, Christmas, Carol. Carol. Am I allowed to say her name? Yeah. You can say her name. Christmas her name's Carol. Christmas? Christmas her name Carol. is Carol. Carol. Yes. She was born on Thanksgiving. Mm. Okay. Thanksgiving Carol. Yeah. I was going to say. <laughs> yep. So every few years, price Just don't call her Easter Carol. <laughs> right. Um, anyway, so we're going to, uh, we're making her dinner tonight and we are going to the Carpenter's Christmas. Oh, wow. That's we're really right. excited. That's tonight. The Yoga deal. Yeah. I wonder how their tickets are doing. Well, I really hope there's some seats left because I need more. <laughs> That's awesome. That's yeah. good. Yeah. No, we're really excited. So tonight kind of kicks off a big weekend. You know, um, tonight is the Carpenter's Christmas. Get you ready for the holidays. And then Thursday, of course, I'm, it's been all over the airwaves. But Light Up Artesia, um, the Oh What Fun Shindig at the library, that'll kind of kick it off in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. um, That's at 4. Yep, from 4 to 6. And then the, and then the Light Up Artesia starts at 6. Yes, ma'am. Uh, so there is still room in the parade. If you want, just come to the chamber and grab an application. Here's the, we have a copy of the application here. Yes, or you can go to artesiamainstreet.com, and it is also there as a PDF. You can print it out, and you can bring it to the chamber, or you can take it to Main Street office. Um, holler at Morgan over there. There are seats available for the Carpenter's Christmas. Good. But row E. Row E. There are six seats left yay yay in row okay. e good so, is no. it still nine through <laughs> buy him, buy him, buy him. is it still nine through 14 that's correct taken? okay good no, that's no wait no nine but, through 13 or eight through well 13? wait a minute which ones are available and which ones are taken they no, have they have, they have turquoise and they have uh gray the gray are taken gotcha so those are mine okay so good i need eight or 15, 14. okay cool all right so they're available yep for you in row E. So the, so the gray is taken. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, it's still, mm -hmm. there's a lot of uh, seats here available. I was reading it backwards. That's okay. I know. I wasn't sure either. I have color dyslexia. I have word dyslexia and I have number dyslexia and I have letter dyslexia. Really? You speak well on the radio. <laughs> I did. Is this real? Are you real? I did a, what was the commercial I did? I said, uh, if you'd like to have your parade in the float. Everyone when I was doing the community that, calendar. Jean. Everyone does that. B's and D's, I get those swapped around all the time so i've just worked through it anyway You're doing great there are seats dole available bogs. at the are they the dull bogs then well you heard about the uh i have to think about that one <laughs> <laughs> yule logs what dull bogs you heard about the dyslexic agnostic oh no i did not doubted the existence of dog oh <laughs> <laughs> 
Wow. Nice. <laughs> wow. Nice. So there's your joke for the day. Yeah, that was a okay. good one. Anyway, Carpenter's <laughs> Christmas is tonight. There yep. are tickets available. And uh, RTGArtsCouncil.com. Uh, $35 for the adults and 10 bucks for the kiddos. Yep. So uh, go ahead and get I'm those booked. so excited. I love the Carpenters. Yeah. That'd be nice. Are you going to go? I don't know. Uh, Lana and I have <laughs> talked about it, and Lana said that she'd probably just cry the whole night. Aww. Oh, because of the one that passed away? Yeah. Oh. Yep. I get that. Yep, how beautiful her voice was, and it Aww. just, you know. So if we could maybe sit in the balcony so that we can just... With the tissue box. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. We might do that. Yeah, talk to Candace. <laughs> she may even supply the tissues. <laughs> Crime could be healthy. Yeah. That's right. That's right. So, but that's tonight. And then... Mm -hmm. uh, Thursday's a big Thursday's day. Thursday is the light up Artesia. Mm -hmm. So... And the shindig at the library. Mm -hmm. Okay. And there will be, from what we've heard, there's a Santa at the Ocotillo, mm -hmm. who is the Santa that's coming in on the parade. So, mm -hmm. after the parade, the Santa will come over here. And then there's, I, I feel like Benny's usually does a, a Santa as well. Yep. So, opportunities to see. Yeah. And then... Um, so at the Ocotillo, they're also having a hot chocolate bar and a craft for you to do. There's going to be a ton of vendors downtown. They keep signing up. Yep. So lots of like street vendors, but also the local merchants yep. will stay open late on that night on Thursday mm -hmm. in two days. So you know. now, get your Christmas list ready and come downtown. Now, is this true? The um, And maybe Coxie knows this. The uh, Red Green All-Star game, games are Saturday. Correct. The players will be in the parade? Correct. I yes. heard there's about 200 marching, and I don't know if that includes, like, coaches, players. I think it's everybody involved will be in the parade. How fun. Yes. Isn't that, isn't that a neat experience? It's really cool. Really neat. That was great timing. That it was. was. That perfect that they were here that early. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, the most of them come in on Thursday. Yes. And, uh... And so, yeah, they'll come into town and then, hey, we're going to the parade. Yep. <laughs> You're gonna, we, you they threw a, a parade for you. Yes. So. <laughs> <laughs> and do you think they'll wear red and green? Like, depending on what that side they are? Or would they wear their jerseys from the teams that they're representing? That would be Either cool. Either one. With the, cool. with the red yeah. or the green helmets. Because I think that's the helmets are red or green, I right? I think so. And, oh, but they wear their, their regular jerseys. That sounds jersey. right. Yeah. I like it. So that with might. a little light up something. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Light yeah. up something. I That'd like cool. it. So that's Thursday. Yes, yes Thursday. Um, okay, so then, of course, we've got, I'm looking at this deal that we've sent to the, is, we're putting this in all the hotel rooms. We've sent it out electronically to Did you the send it athletes to me? and fans. Um, Mr. Phipps sent it out last okay. night. Oh, he did? I will be posting it on Facebook today, which I didn't get to yesterday. I probably got that then. Yes. Um, and so this is like all the things happening in Artesia, but also specials that some of the local eateries have decided to offer offer for it yeah. for all of these people coming into town because this weekend is the city of champions basketball tournament yes. mm -hmm. girls and boys correct yes and then the all-star football game which you may know as the north versus south what used to be called north versus south is now red versus green that's right yes. we're hosting it at the bowl here it is so yay. looking for things to do i found it yeah it's got your logo on it it does yeah. wonderful so Friday and Saturday is the Christmas tree market out at Balzano. Okay. That's going to be really cute. I mean, <laughs> it was cute. They posted on Facebook yesterday, or I don't even know what day it was. But it says, are you wanting your Hallmark Christmas? Yes. Come out to Balzano. Because they're doing Done. free Santa pictures. They have a cute little toy shop. They have hot chocolate. Of course, they have wine tasting because that's their forte. The Christmas tree market. Um, they're locally grown trees. So that's kind of cool. Um they have fire pits and s'mores and Yay. total hallmark. I love, love it. it. It'll be fun. So anyways, that's on um, Friday and Saturday, both days from 4 to 8. So afternoon, evening-ish time. And they said if you buy a ticket for one day, it, it's for it, like you can get in both days. Okay. If you want to come back. Nice. You don't get to everything. Um, and so that'll be kind of fun for, you know, families if there's... They're on a break between, you know, on the tournament. They're in a break between games or whatever, and they want to pop out there and just, you know, for something to do. And here's what I'm seeing for your planning purposes. Mm -hmm. Thursday's going to be cooler. Friday's going to be warmer. Saturday's going to be cooler. Oh, cool. Did, the, cool. did the little rain icon <laughs> pop up on Saturday? It or did, that did go but it's faking it. It's faking it. <laughs> it's going to fake us out. Just so you know how to dress to go to all your fun activities. Yeah. Well, the basketball, you don't have to worry about it, but football... 
Yeah, they, yeah. Play, well, they play football in the rain. Well, so. no, noon and three, right? Are the two different times? Yes. Mm-hmm. Noon and three? Correct. Yep. Yeah. So then on Saturday, the other thing on Saturday, well, golly, there's two more things on Saturday. Yeah. So Christmas on the Corner, that's being hosted over here by at Renewed Wellness. Mm-hmm. Um, they're on the corner of, oh, that way. Thank you. <laughs> By McDonald's. I need it. Yep, they're they're catty corner from McDonald's, across the street from the library, right on Richardson, two hundred one. They will be having Botox from twelve to three. Food trucks, Santa and the Grinch, but not at the same time. Whew! I know it. Thank goodness. Shopping. Oh, wait a minute, that raises trees. questions, doesn't it? Has the Grinch had Botox? I'm going to say no. <laughs> Hard no. <laughs> no. He's super wrinkly. He's wrinkled from top to toe. I know it. Oh my gosh, I saw that funny. <laughs> funniest video of a dad like the kids were were throwing a big old fit Mm -hmm. and he dressed up as a grinch and he comes barreling in the house and the door catches his bag (gasps) on the way in and he falls down and he gets up and you hear the kids are screaming because it's like they see the grinch and he's about to steal their christmas right the kids are screaming and crying they're like no where's my dad dad come get the grinch dad dad go up dad's nowhere to be found (laughs) he's barreling around the around the whole house he steals a christmas tree and he starts taking it out for it <laughs> wow it was actually really funny some people have a lot of energy i know i would actually be pissed once i, I put that tree. sucker up it's not coming down for yeah, at least four so weeks so this guy has a job no <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's an <laughs> influencer he's a youtuber he's got too much money or a tiktoker or whatever i don't yeah. know but it was really funny that anywho funny. so christmas on the corner mm-hmm. renewed wellness um the other thing that i think is really cool that might um, bring in some of these athletes and their parents and their people, um, especially during the season when it's like cool, warm, cool, warm every day. Um, they'll have their IV bar. Open. Okay. So there you go. It's not the four bar. It's the IV <laughs> bar. Uh, they'll be offering infusions. So if you need to go, I mean, especially after these guys are playing tons of basketball over and over and over or, you know, whatever, just trying to like re-energize after whatever game they've had or their families are kind of feel like something's coming on you know there's immunity ivs there's electrolytes ivs giving you energy and it's all they've got a whole new facility just kind of Mm -hmm. south of there so you get to meet the staff and then there'll be uh food trucks there and some other vendors vendors yeah they'll they'll have live christmas trees as well if you'd like Mm -hmm. to get a live one to take home um but yeah christmas on the corner that'll be really fun during the day so Mm -hmm. that's from um beginning at 10 and i feel like it's over around Four, I have, or six, I have a or something like somewhere, that. Somewhere, but I'll check that. Yeah. Well, hold the thought on what else is going on because we need to break for news. Oh yeah. And uh, we'll be back. Chamber chat continues. Jessica's going to go play with the train. Yeah, I'm going to go play with the puppy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll be right Not back. a real puppy. <laughs> now for a pickles. Fa-